Welcome everyone, my name is Brandon Toombs with Coeus Consulting and I'm going to be doing a demonstration for you of how the SAP HCM and SuccessFactors BizX integration actually looks. I know there's a lot of questions that, that people have had about this, so hopefully by the end of this demonstration we'll all be able to come away from this uh, with a sense of how seamless the process can actually work uh, when setting up a business scenario between SAP HCM on-premise and SuccessFactors BizX in the cloud. So our demonstration today is going to be in the area of compensation. So what we're going to be showing is how the compensation integration between SAP and SuccessFactors works as part of a business scenario. In our scenario, we are going to have a manager in this case, Harrison Ford is going to be doing uh, the merit process for his employees. So in order to do that, uh, two things need to happen. Number one, the current salary data for, the, for his existing employees needs to be brought across to be used as part of the merit process. And then once he's done doing all of his adjustments, the data needs to be sent back to the SAP HCM uh, environment so that it can be used uh, to cut paychecks. So let's get started with the demo. So uh, I'm logged in now as Harrison Ford, the manager. Um, the Harrison got an email telling him that it's time to start the merit process. Uh, so that's what he's going to do right now. Uh, he goes in to his success factors environment um, and he's going to select compensation. And you'll see uh, that the uh, compensation form has been assigned to him. All right, there we go. And so I click on the form, and that's going to launch uh, the compensation planning process uh, within Success Factors. So, uh, compensation planning within Success Factors has a lot of really cool functionality, and I highly recommend you going off to the Success Factors website to look at the uh, at all the functionality that you can that you can utilize. Uh, within success factors for compensation management. Uh, for today's session, we're going to really just focus on a very simple process just so that we can illustrate the integration. So I come in and I look and I see my three direct reports. Um, I can drill in and look at their cards, uh, see some of the specifics about them from a, from a talent standpoint, which can be useful to me as I'm trying to make merit decisions. Um, so I have all that information here. I also have the current annual salary. And you'll notice here that we have a bit of an outlier when it comes to Justin Timberlake. Uh, his salary is actually uh, 20500 And unfortunately, that looks like it may have been some sort of data entry error. Um, so what I'm going to do as a manager is I'm going to call um, uh, someone in the HR administration office and say, hey, um, Justin may not have noticed this yet because he's making so much money elsewhere that he's not really paying attention to his paycheck, but he is getting grossly underpaid. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to jump over and uh, fix this uh, data entry error of uh, 20500 um, and make, it, uh, make the salary what it's supposed to be, which is actually $120,500. Um, now, as an aside, the, the main reason I'm doing this, the only reason I'm doing this is uh, so that I can do a quick illustration of how the employee data integration works uh, from a salary standpoint. Obviously, those of us that work in SAP HCM know that we are way too smart uh, to ever let this kind of uh, error actually take place in, in the wild. Um, so just play along with me. Okay, so I'm going in now. I'm switching hats and I'm uh, in now as an HR administrator. And I'm going to jump over to the Maintain Master Data screen. And for Justin Timberlake, I'm going to simply go in and change the basic pay record and put the one in front of uh, the 20 to get his salary to where it should be. I'm going to hit save. And now I'm going to actually send that data across the success factors in real time. So I'm going to go to Compensation Data Replication and I'm going to select my variant. 
you'll see down here uh, certain things. Uh, I've, I can select the specific employees, which I, I've, uh, I've got a, a small subset of employees that I'm actually uh, running this for, uh, for our test purposes, for our demo purposes. And you'll see here that I have a field set for data export. And so what this is, is it's basically a mapping between SAP fields, such as, in our case, the salary field and the corresponding salary field within success factors. And so um, you'll set that up through configuration the way that we're used to doing configuration in the SAP environment. Uh, there's a compensation group ID, which uh, corresponds to a group ID of the template so that it knows where to pass the information. Um, and then... A, so what I'm going to do now is the exciting part, which is I'm going to send the data across. So I'm going to hit execute and this is going to process. And first of all, what it's going to do is it's going to compare the data to the data that was already last sent across the success factors. And it's only going to send that data that's actually changed. So you can see here that I have one employee uh, with changes successfully processed. Now I have two employees that were skipped because there was a missing delta. So in other words, nothing had changed for them. So we just sent across one employee. And so now, through, our, through the miracle of the integration and through our middleware, what you're going to see when I refresh my screen and I go back in, is Justin Timberlake's salary has updated from 20,500 to 120,500. And uh, so let me, let me emphasize this point. Uh, notice that I didn't go and, and download a file and upload a file, I did nothing. I just pushed a button and the data went across the web and updated where it was supposed to be within success factors. And, and this is standard delivered uh, integration from SAP. And so it's really powerful and it's, a, it's really, uh, it's great that they have emphasized this point so much in trying to make this as seamless as possible for, for folks. So that's an illustration of how the inbound uh, processing works uh, to bring the salary data across. Now let's, uh, make, uh, let's do some really quick changes from a planning standpoint. And so I'm going to just put in some merit increases. And now you'll notice that there are different types of adjustments that are available within success factors, similar to uh, other compensation planning uh, processes. So I can set those up as adjustments, uh, lump sums and promotions. Uh, one important point here is let's say that we're going to be giving a lump sum payment um, and we want to do that through SAP, we can absolutely set up that, that type of integration so that uh, say a bonus payout can take place as well. Um, not just uh, updates to basic pay, but that, but but also just uh, one-time bonus payments. So you'll see here that uh, I have a final salary, and notice the total pay here uh, comes across. And notice one twenty-three five hundred is what we're actually looking to target for Justin Timberlake. So we're going to go back over. Hopefully, we'll see that amount actually get reflected in Justin's basic pay when we're done. So I'm going to hit save. And so in a normal process, uh, you might want to set up uh, things like approvals um, and finalizations uh, within your compensation management process. But for the purposes of illustration, we've made, this, we've made this compensation planning route map very simple. And that means that we're just going to finalize as the next step. So I send to the next step. And we are done on the success factor side. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back in to success fact, I mean to SAP, and I'm uh, wearing my HR administrator hat again, and I'm going to be pulling the data back in and activating it. So I'm going to go into compensation data import, and I am going to select BT import. Again, uh, it's a variant I had set up with the personnel numbers. You'll also notice the field set for the inbound mapping. Again, it's configuration that I would set up. Um, the, uh, the new element here is an ad hoc report. So part of the magic that's going to take place here that I'll show you as I click the execute button 
I'll explain. So what's happening right now is uh, SAP is actually querying and running an ad hoc report on the success factor side that is going to uh, be pulling in the specific data elements that we need in order to bring that data back across and store it into a staging table. So uh, you set up a, an ad hoc report that includes the data elements that you need. And of course, there's, uh, there's ample instructions in order to let you know what you need to set up from an ad hoc reporting standpoint on the success factor side. So all that data comes across, stored in the staging table, and you'll see here uh, a success message. Uh, three employees successfully processed. If there was a problem with one of them, you would see that here as an error. You could work that. So in our case though, everything went smoothly. And now on to the last step in the process, which is, which is activation. So this will, at the end of this step, we will actually end up with updated data on employee basic pay. Um, so you can see here that the data has come across um, and it's time to move it in. I'm going to hit uh, enter fields. And what I'm doing, why I'm doing that is to let you see uh, uh, some other functionality that exists uh, as part of the activation. And that is, let's say that I want to uh, specify a, a common effective date for all of the activations. Well, rather than having to uh, maintain that on the success factor side for each individual employee, what I'm able to do is I can just set that here at, at runtime to say, okay, for all the, uh, all the folks that, that we're doing merit adjustments for, we want those to actually be effective on, on 4.1. So let's just put that in here. And we're doing the same thing with the reason and the wage type. And again, that's all configuration. I can say which, which ones are constant across all of the employees and which ones I want to set for individuals. So I, uh, I, that's the uh, inner fields. I uh, unclick test only. And I'm going to process this and this will result in updates to basic pay. So let's go look at Justin again. So I'm going back into Justin Timberlake and if you'll remember, we want to see an amount, if I remember right, of 123,500. So let's see if that's what actually came across. And lo and behold, it did. I've got an annual salary of 123,500. You can see that uh, that is effective as of 4-1, um, uh, which is exactly what it is that we wanted to see. So that's... Uh, that's the magic. That's the round trip. So, okay, so that's the end of the demo. Uh, a few points here uh, on our way out. Um, where you find more information, you can press pause on this and um, look at each of these in more detail. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and read them to you off the slide. In addition, uh, Donna and myself um, uh, would both be uh, very interested in, in answering questions you might have uh, on this subject. Uh, Coeus is a, is a partner in this area, and so we're uh, excited about the opportunity to help in customers as they uh, navigate these waters. Uh, thank you very much for your time, and uh, have a, a good day.